before you start this video, I just want to say a quick thing. If you are only here for your question, do not fear. I know this video is really, really long. I'm going to work on getting everybody's name and question in the description. So you can just click that, go to the timestamp and find your question if you're only here for that. If you are here for every single question, you are crazy, but I really appreciate that. You're so interested, but enjoy the video. Thanks. What's going on everybody? It's me, Homesites1998. Before we get into this video, and it will be a long one, I just wanted to say why this video took so long to make. First off, I wanted to give everybody a chance to get their question in because the last time I did a Q&A was, I believe, three years ago, and I got a ton of questions, but then I noticed I missed a lot, so I wanted to make sure everybody got their question in. And second off, I also needed time. So right now I am on kind of like a winter break where I'm working from home for a couple of months, or more like a couple of weeks, but um, yeah, so this is a good time for me to do it. It's Christmas break now. And so I just had a lot of time on my hands. I really want to make this an awesome video for you guys because you gave me tons of effort with these questions and I got to give that back to you guys. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, so our first question we have Jay Linton. He asks, what college do you attend? If not, try FSU. Frostburg State University has a lot to offer, plus it's easy to get into. Okay, so funny thing, I actually don't go to college, but I work at a college. So basically I got out of high school and I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. I didn't know if I did want to get an education or whatever. So I just did whatever pretty much. I babysat for a couple of years and now um, I took a civil servants exam and then I got into a college. So that is where I'm working right now. So I kind of am in a college and you can take free classes there. So every one per semester. So I believe I will be doing that. Um, I'm not sure where Frostburg State University is. And his second question is, um, I would like to hear about that. That's, that sounds very interesting. I don't really know what that school is known for, but very interesting. And um, this, his second question was, do you play Fall Guys? I do not play Fall Guys. I play a ton of video games though, but Fall Guys is not one of them. Okay, next question we have Noah Nicolati. Um, definitely remember this guy. Um, always, always commenting on videos. Um, very friendly, very awesome. He says, what's up, Home Slice? Not much. And then he asks, thoughts on the new United States Championship belt compared to the old one, and do you watch a practical joke so? Okay, the new Uni United States title, to be completely honest, I don't like it. I like the old one a lot better. It just looks like more vibrant, kind of, but um, it's not bad. It's definitely not bad. It's better than the new Intercontinental title. I do not like that one at all. And Impractical Jokers, um, yeah, that's kind of like, okay, to be honest, like when you have a girl over to the house and you can like, you just turn the TV on for background noise, I feel like every time that is on, or every time I do that, there's like Impractical Jokers on, so that's pretty much like the only time I watch it, but I never really like go out of my way to watch it, so yeah. This next question might be one of my favorite ones. This is from, and I apologize if I say anybody's names wrong. Obviously, I'm doing the best I can, but this, okay, so this is from Hamad Muhammad. He asks, what is your favorite music band? dash artist and his second question is your opinion who is the nba goat much love from q8 i didn't even know where that was until i got this question I, I, okay to be honest i'm not good with like geography and things so i looked that up that is freaking amazing that somebody from q8 i hope i'm saying that right <laughs> i don't know but that is amazing that somebody that far away is watching my videos so wow man Thank you so much for watching. That is so awesome. Now, to get into your question, my favorite music, art, band, and artist. Okay, so I kind of have like a big three for that, and this is probably going to be surprising to some people. So, number three on the list is kind of like a hierarchy. Number three is Deftones, and they've got new music out, so that they're like kind of like my new favorite recent band, sort of, but I love their old stuff. Second is Rage Against the Machine. I've worn Rage shirts before. I don't know if anyone has noticed that, but I've absolutely love Rage Against the Machine. I'm dying to go to a concert of Rage Against the Machine, but of course, 2020 and the COVID, so I wasn't able to do that. And then my favorite band of all time, people are going to be like, what? Are you serious? Steely Dan. That is just 
quintessential music for me. Like, that is everything that music should be, is Steely Dan. I freaking love Steely Dan so much. Um, the NBA GOAT, well, I mean, I could go be boring and say Michael Jordan. I'm gonna say the NBA GOAT is LeBron James, because to be honest, I was born in 1998, obviously, comes since 1998. And I've seen LeBron James pretty much his whole career. I, I never saw M Michael Jordan play, aside from the Last Dance documentary. And I've just seen LeBron do some unbelievable things. He's got four championships. He's got four finals MVPs. He's won a championship on three different teams. He's won MVP a million times. He went to the finals with Matthew Delvadova as that second best player on his team, basically, because Kyrie and Kevin Love got hurt. He went to the NBA finals with, like, Booby Gibson as a second best player and Larry Hughes and those guys. So, to me, it's LeBron James, and I would love to see him win a fifth ring because, I mean, that's the GOAT, man. To me, that is the GOAT. Like, I'm going to tell my kids that that's the GOAT. So, Hamad, thank you so much for this question. That was awesome. Okay, this next question from Pumpkin Seeds is actually, like, a really heartfelt question, I feel like. He asks, I'm about the same age as you, turning 21 in a week. I was just wondering what your future plans are. I feel like I don't know what to do at all, and being the same age, I was wondering if you figured out what you wanted to do yet. Thanks. Okay, so for me, I really don't know what I want to do. Um, I'm just working at the college, man, and um, for those wondering, I, it's at the college is Oswego State, so you can like look me up and stuff, but yeah, I just kind of fell into that job. Like, I got out of high school, I didn't know what I wanted to do, I didn't know if I wanted to get, like, go to college or like do a trade school or something like that or take online classes I really had no idea so I babysat for a couple of years and then right when I got out of high school I took a civil service exam so from from me to you I would totally suggest doing that because I took that and I didn't even study for it and I got a really good grade and then two years later because it's good for four years taking that test um, I just got an application there. I went to the interview and I was hired like a couple days later and I've been there a year now and basically if I stay at that job for you know, 30 years, I'm only 22 right now, so if I stay there for 30 years, I can retire at 52 and that's that's really all I can ask for in life. So, pumpkin seeds, honestly, man, you gotta think about what what would you wanna do? Like, what, what kind of a life do you wanna live? And what, what kind of life do you want to live? What would you want to do? Like, what kind of a job? Like, do you want hands-on? Do you want sitting at a desk? Personally, for me, I work at a library, so I'm sitting at a front desk, or I'm going upstairs, putting books away, grabbing books for people. Um, it's been a little crazy with the COVID, but... So, yeah, that's what I did, and um, even if I don't like the job, which pretty much I, I do like it, like, I have no complaints there. It's very easy. Um, I'm staying there, man. I'm staying there until I can re retire, so... Yeah, pumpkin seeds, honestly. Um, that was a really good question, and uh, I hope you, you figure that out. Next question we have from Matthew Huff. He says, it's your boy, Q-Tip. What's your all-time best starting five, not necessarily best player at each position? First off, Q-Tip, you're lame as hell for not staying in the clan, but I will answer your question. Uh, my best starting five. Okay, so we're going to hang. Oh, like, if this is the best team that I think you can make with like the best NBA players, like best at each position. Magic Johnson at point guard, obviously Michael Jordan and LeBron, point guard, or er, shooting guard and small forward. Then you get who I think is top five at his position, Tim Duncan, uh, and then probably at the five, it's oh, man, that that's probably the hardest one. I would probably go Shaq, but, or Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, I mean, you can't go wrong there. That's the all-time leading scorer. He's got the most unstoppable shot. But Shaq, man, oh my god, you see him playing, there's like three guys on him and he's just bulldozing through and just cramming the ball on people. If he can cut a made free throws, like, literally we're talking about 40 points per game, but um, I'm going Shaq, yeah, let's go Shaq. Q-tip, join the damn clan again. Coward. I'm just kidding, but no, but really, come back. Selfie boy Alex would like to know, do you still hate John Cena laughing emoji? And did you watch The Fiend vs. John Cena match? No and yes. I don't hate John Cena anymore. I will say this. I underrated the hell out of John Cena when I was younger because, well, I was a John Morrison fan, so, like, he was always beating, he was always WWE Champion. Like, I wanted John Morrison to be the WWE Champion. And there was one match, I believe, in 2011, Extreme Rules, like, maybe it was in May 2011, or maybe 2000. 
Yeah, okay. 2011. John Morrison versus The Miz versus John Cena. Steel cage match for the WWE title. And I went into that thinking, oh my god, Morrison is going to win the WWE title. And then John Cena won it. That is the point where I hated John Cena. But, no, I don't hate John Cena anymore. Like, they need that guy. WWE does not have that guy where it's like, okay, yeah, this is the guy that we have to take down. Or, you know, they, they need a new John Cena. And the Fiend versus John Cena match, I thought it was really weird but i kind of liked it but it wasn't even really like a match like who the hell won i guess the fiend but it was a weird match i guess they kind of are doing like this weird cinematic thing but it was definitely interesting ryan lawler would like to know do i like rob van dam yes i do like rob van dam and i was hoping that when he came back to wwe in i believe 2014 that he would win the world heavyweight title he was kind of feuding with Aurel del rio for a couple of months, but Del Rio beat him all the times, and um, good matches. But yeah, I do like Rob Van Dam. Zero asks, in your last video you said you watched a lot of anime. What are some of your favorites, and have you seen any lately that you enjoy? Okay, first off, Zero, thank you so much for watching the last video. Um, ones that I really enjoy, okay, well, it's pretty obvious, well, sort of, because, well, I mean, I have, I have a big poster right over here of Hanji, Erwin, and Levi, but I'm a huge Attack on Titan fan. Uh, it's, prob it's probably my favorite anime. Um, I grew up with Dragon Ball Z, but, so of course Dragon Ball Z is always going to have a special place in my heart, but I think Attack on Titan is like the best anime that I've seen. Um, to be fair, I haven't seen a ton though. Um, I've seen a little bit of Full Metal, Full, Full Metal Alchemist, Brotherhood, um, Naruto, and then, honestly, this is, this one's kind of weird. I've been watching, like, the Persona 5 anime because I just beat the game and I loved it so much, so I've just been watching that. And so, yeah, I've, I've really enjoyed that. Um, but, yeah, Zero, you got to tell me, what, what kind of anime do you like? Are you an Attack on Titan fan? Because, oh, my God, Season 4 is out. It's so good. Dominic Bianchi. I believe I said that correctly. He asked the toughest, probably the toughest question I've had yet in, in a way. Who you got, Trump or Biden? Not if you were voting for either, just who do you think will win? Okay, so obviously he asked this months ago. Um, I'm not going to say who I voted for, but I did vote. Uh, and I thought it was kind of obvious that Biden would win because, well, I mean, it just kind of was. Like, I put... I think a couple hundred dollars on a gambling site that Biden was gonna win, so yeah. My friend Wolf himself asks, what is it like being a Clash Royale celebrity and why don't you play any other game? Um, being a Clash Royale celebrity, it's awesome because I'm the most powerful member in the clan and I would defeat you, Wolf, and you need to play Clash more, but um, yeah, it's, real, it's awesome and <clears throat> I hope I can be even better than what I am now because I'm top 10, top 10k right now, but yeah, so. Uh, and why don't I play any other game? Well, I do, just not phone games. As you can see, I mean, I've got a whole shelf of games there, GameCube, Wii, PS4, so. Yeah, well, if you need to, uh, you need to get on Clash, like, and grind because Exodus is just here and you are, like, here. You need to get those trophies up right away, my man. Hi Fryo asks, how old are you and do you play Fortnite? I am 22 years old, believe it or not. It seems even weird to say that, like just the other day I was like, I'm really 22 years old, like I'm not 19 anymore. And then, uh, do I play Fortnite? I did play Fortnite when it first came out, but honestly I'm trash at it and it kind of just like lost its luster in a way because like now you've got Walking Dead characters and Star Wars characters right now. It's like, what is even happening in this game? But no, I do not play Fortnite anymore. Thank you for the question. Alright, this is a good one. Sever the Bond asks, let's see, um, what are your thoughts on James Dolan and what's your favorite flower? Okay, so I'll start with the flower. Flower, flower, I'll, I'm just gonna say tulips because, like, I'm not a big flower person. Um, if you said vegetable or something, I could probably pick that, but I don't really know a ton of flowers, but James Dolan. Okay, first off, Sever, we need to have a talk, buddy, because I found your videos and you found my videos because we were Knicks fans, man. Like, we were Knicks fans. We saw some of the 
I, excuse my language, we saw some of the shittiest players play for the Knicks, and we were still fans of that team. Like, Alex Shelley, or Alex, something, something like that. White guy, he almost had like a triple-double a couple times, and just like Samuel Dallin there, and like, I, I, there's just so many guys, like, I, I can't even think of all the crap players that play for the Knicks, but now, now you're a Nats fan? Are you kidding me, bro? Now that they got Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, there is no loyalty. You know what? I'm still a Knicks fan. I'm going to stay a Knicks fan because just watch. RJ Barrett, he's going to be good. Obi Toppin, he's going to be good. We're building something. We are building something. But as for James Dolan, James Dolan needs to GTFO because he's racist. He's a cancer. He doesn't know how to run the Knicks. He's sensitive as hell. I hate the guy. Um, but yeah, he has got to go. And Sever, man, he's hosing oil, that's for sure. F the Nets, F Kevin Durant, but also, more importantly, F James Dolan, because, like, how are you not even going to offer Kevin Durant anything? Like, oh my god, that's the best player in the NBA, or LeBron, second best player, LeBron might be the first, but how are you not going to offer Kevin Durant anything? Oh, I hate James Dolan so much, man. I hate him, I hate him, I really do. But Sever, that ain't it, that ain't it, man. Okay, I'm going to answer one more question, then I'm going to go take a break. There will be no pause in the video, I just, um, it's late at night, I'm tired, uh, I just need to go to sleep, recharge, and then I'm going to finish the next part. There won't be any gap though, but maybe just an outfit change, I don't know, but this question is a special one to me because this is from one of my best friends in high school. I would love to hear from him now, but I love that he found this video somehow. I don't know how he found this video, but he commented. This is my buddy, Ben Halstead. He says, Home Slice, you should know me. Ha ha ha. Of course I know you, Ben. Dude, like, that's freaking Benny right there. It's question one. Do you remember Mrs. Taddeo's class? That was a blast. Dude, Taddeo's class. Nobody watching this is going to understand this, but Taddeo's class, I literally learned so much in there, and I also learned, like, nothing at the same time, because I love all those recipes we did, and the cooking and stuff, and, but, like, Man, I always think about Taddeo's class and I'm like, that is the class that I learned the most in because like, it's cooking man, you're cooking the whole entire time and like, I still make some of those recipes, like I have a whole bin with all the recipes but, um, but then at the same time like, there would be times where we were just goofing off doing nothing or like, under cooking a freaking chicken or something but, yeah man, Taddeo's classes was the freaking best. And then your next question is, who won that race to your house, me or Eric, you better think about your answer and miss you dude. Benny, I miss you, man. It's great to great to hear from you and comment. Okay, the race. Oh, God. Riding with Eric was... A, I'm just going to say, it was a fucking nightmare. Because I could have died, like... I don't know what I was thinking riding with him. Because, like... Okay, quick story. One time, me and Noah were coming home. And... Or maybe it was me and Brad. I think it was me and Noah. We were coming home. And there was a bus, like, getting ready to drop off a kid. And a double-sided line... D robes goes and passes on. I'm like, dude, we're gonna get arrested. But um, honestly, it was it was close, but probably probably D Rose because I mean, his car was freaking nice, man. Like he had a great car, and but you put up a good fight, Ben, and um, you know that that was that was really tough. And D Rose would drive like a madman too. And then you see what happens. Like a couple months later, he totaled his car, but. Ben, great to hear from you, man. I hope you I hope you see this video. I really do. Okay, Thomas Meany says, and will ask, why is there four videos in this year? Normally, there's only one. Um, basically, I've just kind of had more time, and I kind of wanted to just make more videos. So, yeah, we got four instead of one. I mean, I don't make just one video. Come on, you got to give me a little more credit. But, yeah, I just had more time, and just usually whenever I get ideas is when I make a video want to make a video like if I think oh this would be a good a good video but I can't really force it like I'm not like a pure content creator it's just it's got to come to me okay last question before I take a quick little break doodly doodles I believe is how that name is pronounced asked do you still like WWE if so are you planning to make any videos about it um yeah I still like WWE I always usually I'll like tune in a little bit or like Usually I'm like watching Monday Night Football to be honest, but I'll go into like Raw and see what's up or if there's a big show, I'll see it. And I, I always watch WrestleMania, so, and and the big pay-per-views and stuff like that. And sometimes I watch one of my brother, so that's always fun. Um, do I make, will I make more videos about it? Probably not, but if John Morrison 
one like money in the bank or something because I know Miz has it um if he like cashed in money in the bank or something I would probably make a video about that because I had been wanting WWE or John Morrison win the WWE title for literally so long that would just be awesome okay last question before I take a quick little break doodly doodles I believe is how that name is pronounced asks do you still like WWE if so are you planning to make any videos about it um yeah I still like WWE I always Usually I'll like tune in a little bit or like usually I'm like watching Monday Night Football to be honest But I'll go into like raw and see what's up or if there's a big show I'll see it and I, I always watch WrestleMania so and and the big pay-per-views and stuff like that And sometimes I watch from my brother so that's always fun. Um, do I make will I make more videos about it? Probably not but if John Morrison won like money in the bank or something because I know Miz has it um, if he like cashed in money in the bank or something I would probably make a video about that because I had been wanting WWE or John Morrison win the WWE title for literally so long. That would just be awesome. Okay, I am back and I am ready to finish off these questions. You guys have been awesome so far. I've really been enjoying doing this and I hope you guys have liked hearing your question get answered. Okay, so next we have Baltimore Crew. Definitely remember this guy. Um, awesome to see him. Still watch my video, videos and commenting. Um, he asks, "Will the figure review or will the figure video ever make a comeback?" And his second question is, "Are you a shoe head? Can you show us your collection?" Okay, so the figures videos probably not because I don't really buy them anymore. Like I don't have any. Actually, I did just buy one, but it was pretty much like just for the sole purpose of like reviewing. Um, I won't spoil that because I might actually do a video on that. Um, but yeah, so probably not. I don't really have any of my figures anymore. Like, I sold a lot of them, and honestly, I don't really regret that because, like, it kind of reminded me of Toy Story. Like, I had so much fun with those figures, and I made tons of videos, and I had a bunch of... I, I had a blast with them, honestly. And um, now, I, so I sold them, and now somebody else can enjoy them as much as I do. And am I a shoe head? Okay, well, sort of, I guess. Like, in high school, I definitely was, but not so much anymore because I just don't really play basketball all that much anymore but I can show you my collection okay next up is Trapanese Aiden 19 XX he asks how do you feel about John Morrison coming back to the WWE <sighs> not good man I mean when I saw him come back I was like yes John Morrison is back I gotta pay attention to WWE now this is awesome he's my all-time favorite wrestler I met him I saw him live it was awesome um, but yeah, I saw him come back and he immediately won the tag team titles. He wasn't losing matches and now I see where he is. He's basically just the Miz's hype man. He's not money in the bank. He's getting pinned in like two second, two minute matches to Otis. So I was really hopeful they were actually going to do something with him, but it turns out they're just going to do the same thing they always have done with Morrison, which is waste him, unfortunately. And then the second question is, can you do the WAP? I can't do the WAP because, to be honest, I don't know what it is. Like, if you ask me to do a dab or something, I know what that is. The WAP, I don't know. Is that like where you throw something in the air and then, like, I, I don't know what the WAP is. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. Really hope I don't murder this name, but I even asked Google Translate how to say this. Jonathan Hong, I hope that's correct, asked, do you play Super Smash Bros? And what do you think about Heath Slayer and TNA? Smash Bros, I definitely play. I'm on the Nintendo Switch. I can probably put my like code in the comments. That would be so much fun to play with you guys. Um, Yeah, that, I use like Joker, Ness, Lucas, uh, I don't know who else. Oh, uh, Yoshi I'm pretty good with. So, yeah, I'm a huge Smash Bros. fan, man. That That's probably like my, one of my all-time favorite series because it's introduced me to so many different games. And then second question, what do you think about Heath Slater and TNA? I have not seen TNA in so long. I did not even know Heath Slater was there. But, hey, I mean, good for him. He, I always really liked him in WWE, but they just never really did that much with him. A classic case of that. But good for him. I hope he's doing good stuff in TNA. MWFE Wrestling, he actually asked three questions. I'm going to let it pass just because, hey, it's Christmas. I'm in the giving spirit, but no, I'm just kidding, but I I'll actually do all of them. Um, he asked, what did you, what have you did since the coronavirus started? Okay, so that's his first question. Uh, what have I did? I made an update video, but pretty much I just worked from home. It was, it was honestly an ass show. I can't, I can't swear on YouTube, but yeah, it was, it was crazy working from home, but I, I honestly liked it, so... 
Um, I did that. I played a lot of video games and just stayed inside. I'm pretty much a homebody anyway, so I really didn't do all that much. Um, his second question is, do you still have your WWE figures? If you do, what are they? Okay, so I think I have three left, and the three are... These are like the most special figures I couldn't trade or, or sell or anything. It was, um, okay, so actually four. I have two John Morrisons. One was a custom one with the white pants. I think if you look in my old collection videos, he's in there. Um, it was a custom made one. I love that. I love that figure so much. Um, so I kept that one because that was like a special one. Then I have the Elite 11 John Morrison, I believe it was. So there was, those are my two Morrisons. Then the other two are... They just, I got them at great times in my life. Um, it was the Elite something Christian. It came with a white Intercontinental Championship belt. So I kept that one. And then the other one was Elite for Chris Jericho. I won a Chris Jericho, a Chris Jericho figure for Christmas in like 2010. And I didn't get him. And then the next day, my dad brought home that Jericho. And I was, I was pretty happy about that. And then his third question is, what's your favorite video game? Um, of all time, honestly, it's probably Persona 5 Royal. Because, I mean, I've just played the hell out of that game now. And I'm totally in love with it. But that might be recency bias. I don't know. I really love that game. Um, besides that, though, Super Smash Brothers Melee. That was like, I've spent so many hours into that. Resident Evil 4, I beat him, I think seven times and then probably like the earthbound games like earthbound mother 3 those are all fantastic so this person commented and did not have a username they had a profile picture but not a username so i'm sorry you did not get your shout out but um i hope you see this video um but the person asked do you think lebron will ever play with his oldest son in the nba and the second question was also have you had the travis scott meal mcdonald's do i think lebron will play with his oldest son that is tough because i really don't know how much lebron has left i mean he doesn't look like he's even going like he's not even close to slowing down yet and he's still you know he's winning his fourth championship fourth finals mvp top three for mvp so i'm gonna say yeah he's gonna play with his oldest son and then second question did i have I tried the Travis Scott meal? No, I have not. Um, because, I don't know, I just, I don't even know what's in this meal, but I'd kind of like to get my own thing from McDonald's. Like, I'll get a chicken sandwich and a fish. I, I'm like, I kind of do like the same thing every single time. Like, I wouldn't want somebody's meal, but, um, yeah. Kind of a weird question, but I like it. Funniest TV, we like to ask in capitals, do you still watch WWE? I do still watch WWE occasionally. I'm not a full-time WWE guy. I do still watch, you know, like the big shows or the pay-per-views and stuff. Like, my brother and I will watch the pay-per-views together. Like, I, I'm always going to watch WrestleMania, but not full-time, but part-time. I do watch WWE. Hawk asks, are you going to college? So as I explained earlier in the video, I'm not really going to college. I just work at a college, so yeah. Bag 2K1 asks a kind of interesting question. What are your thoughts on watching your older content? Okay, watching it, it is kind of funny. Like, I'm so glad that I have those videos up because, like, I don't know, like 10 years from now, I can be like, whoa, look at this video from when I was 12 years old. And I don't know. I love the fact that I did that as a kid, but um, some of it is definitely embarrassing, like dancing the grass monkey and stuff, but the biggest problem I have with watching my older videos is I can't go into the comments and see what people commented 10 years ago because YouTube has taken down all the comments on my younger videos because it needs it needs to be suitable for kids and stuff. Well, because I was a kid in the videos, but I'm obviously not a kid anymore, but my Daniel's Crush Cup review is probably my favorite video I've ever made, and to go there and see all the comments were taken down, it was that that hurt my soul so um old watching my older content it's it's fun but i don't like sit down like oh let's watch this because i don't know it's just kind of weird i guess i'm i mean i, don't know. I feel like i mess this guy's name up every single time um i feel bad so i hope i'm saying it correctly george Meza asks where do you see yourself in 10 years in 10 years i mean okay so i'm gonna be 32 
I hope with like my own house and I don't know maybe kids or something. I that is a really hard question. Like I don't know. I re I don't even know where I see myself in one year from now. So that is a really hard question. But in ten years from now, we'll have to come back to this video and see what the heck I was saying. Probably nothing. But I, I, ten years from now, I don't know. I really do not know. Hopefully in my own house and child or two? I don't know. I really, really don't know. Second question, are you buying the Xbox Series X-S or PS5? I would if I could, but I can't. I am trying like hell to get a PS5 and there's, I mean, I've done, I've tried like everything. I just, I can't get a PS5. I want a PS5. I'll just have to be patient like everybody else, but it is, it sucks not being able to get one for sure. Kind of a similar question to earlier, LH asked, do you cringe at your old videos? I would say yes, I do cringe at my old videos, like, okay, funny story, I know this is a long video, but I just want to include this. My senior year of high school, I got a really good grade on my paper because I, you were supposed to do a paper about, like, something that you enjoy to do, and I did filmmaking, and then I got, like, bonus points for watching the Daniels Crush Cup review in front of the whole freaking class. So the whole class saw that Daniels Crush Cup review, and they heard me grabbing the Crush Cup and going, and so, that was cringe. <laughs> oh my god. That was cringe. That was, I'll never forget that, but yeah, so I do kind of cringe at my old videos, like, just weird things I would say, and weird things, like one video I ate of freaking peanut butter and fluff sandwich, and I had like, fluff on the side of, on the side of my face, and I just went the entire video with it, um, yeah, I cringe my own videos for sure. Maria Harper asked, do you like Star Wars? I do like Star Wars, but I'm not a huge fan of the new stuff, like the three new movies that came out I thought were trash, but some things I, I do like. I don't hate all the Disney stuff, but there's most of it I don't really care for, but, like, obviously the first three movies are phenomenal. And then the prequels are pretty good, too. Like, episode three, I think, is really good, but, yeah, I definitely like Star Wars. We are just pushing along with this Q&A. It feels like this is gonna go on forever, but Wrestling Times asks, have you ever watched my videos and do you like NXT? When I was copying and pasting the questions onto the spreadsheet, I saw your question and I went to your channel and I subscribed and I liked a couple of your videos. So I did watch, I have seen your videos and do I like NXT? I do like NXT, I just don't have time to watch it. I've heard it's like really good wrestling and in some ways even better than Raw and SmackDown, but yeah, I definitely like NXT, I just don't really have time for it. Noel Legendary 31 asks, who is your favorite WWE superstar in the current roster? Well, obviously John Morrison, so John Morrison, and then that, that was kind of obvious. I mean, Jeff Hardy's still there, too. Um, I don't really know who else. I guess just, I'll just say Morrison, and I do really, I think Ricochet is really good, and Cesaro, but they're never going to do anything with Cesaro, so... But yeah, so I, I guess besides Morrison and Jeff Hardy, Ricochet, and then Cesaro. Cesaro is really freaking good, and I wish they would do something with him, but they won't. Um, and his second question is, what were your three favorite WWE action figures in collection? I'm just going to say the ones I said earlier, the Elite Morrison, the Elite Christian, and the Elite Jericho. Those are my three favorites. Did you stop trying to do a video here and in the back just licking or something? Solution. Noah's WWE Collection asks, who is your favorite wrestler? Um, yeah, as I said, John Morrison. And then second question is, would you rather be WWE World or Intercontinental Champion? Also, I love your channel. Noah, thank you so much. I love your channel as well. I made sure to subscribe, and I liked a couple of your videos. And I was going to comment, but YouTube wouldn't let me. Um, WWE World Champion or Intercontinental? Definitely WWE Champion, because, like, Intercontinental is here, but then, like, WWE is here. Like, if you're a WWE Champion, like, you're the head of WWE, basically. Like, everybody's coming after you, but I definitely do. I always like the Intercontinental title, but WWE Champ, for sure. Bob Fishy asks, can I have the Goldust figure from your 2009 Christmas gifts video, LOL. Bob, that thing, that Goldust figure is long, long gone, my man. I'm sorry. 
And then second question, why did you change your profile picture from when you met John Morrison? Would you change it back? Probably not, unless I met him again or something, which would just be freaking crazy. I don't know how I would ever meet him again, but uh, I just changed it because, I mean, I had that, I took that picture when I was 13 or 14 years old, and I'm 22 now, so I don't know, I just, this kind of time for a change, I guess. Samuel Jordan, of course, has to ask a tough question. What is your life goal? I guess my life goal is to just be happy and uh, not die with any regrets, I guess. I mean, I don't I don't really know what my life goal is. I kind of just want to live a ordinary life and maybe have kids or... Why, why are you guys getting so... Why are you giving me so many tough questions? I mean, that, I mean, it's a great question. Don't get me wrong. It's just tough. Like, I'm totally unprepared. I don't know. I just don't. But, yeah, I guess to just be happy, really. That's all you can really ask for with life. I mean, here for a good time, not a long time. Is that the same? <laughs> Mega B asked, do you still like wrestling? Do you still have your figures? Definitely still like wrestling. And as I mentioned a couple times, I do still have a handful of my figures. I have three left and then I am getting one more just to review for the channel and then maybe we'll do a giveaway or something. We'll see. We'll see. Me Joe asks, can we get another Daniel's Crush Cup review? Okay, here's the thing, Me Joe. They do not make them anymore. That video was from 2009 and they, I guess they didn't sell well enough. I wasn't a good enough. They should have made me the spokesperson because I think like the guys from Sweet Life of Zack and Cody were the spokes guys. I should have been, I should have been like the promoter for that, like, I reviewed that, I made it sound so good and stuff, but, yeah, I guess they didn't do well enough, so they don't make them anymore, but they did do these other things, it's not, they weren't really like the Crush Cups, they were squeezables, I did review that on the channel, I believe, two years ago, so if you're interested in that, you can go on the channel and check that out, thanks. I'm a little scared, angry old man ass in capitals. When is your next video? Next video is right now, my man. Um, after this one, I really have no idea. Just whatever comes to the brain is what I will do. So please don't, please don't yell at me, angry old man. You're scaring me. Please. Or Bill's 2K Wrestling Shop asks, were you the kid that did WWE figure collection 10 years ago? I was one of those kids. I'm sure tons of kids 10 years ago were doing those videos, but yeah, I definitely, I'm one of the ones that did those videos, and that was a blast, for sure. Super Mario Plush 2006 asks, will you ever bring back the WWE reviews? Probably not, as I said a couple times in this video, I'm not real, I don't buy the figures anymore, but I did just buy one recently, and I may just do a review of it, if you guys are interested. Garrett WWE asks, are you gonna make another video, lol. Garrett, here you go, man. This is the video, and um, hope you're having an awesome day, Garrett. You see this. Apologize if I say this last name wrong. Jading Ramusa asks, Q&A question, will you still do WWE videos? As I said, probably not, but um, there might be like sometimes where I have a discussion about WWE or something, but most likely, no. Chase Loves WWE Show asks, Hi, remember Young Morrison? Um, I think so. I mean, Young John... Remember when I was young and liked John Morrison? Yes, I definitely remember that. I loved John Morrison very much. But do I remember John Morrison when he was young? No, I do not because I'm 22 and he's probably in his 30s. But yeah. <laughs> We almost made it to the end. You guys are crazy with these questions. I can't believe how many we got. And all right, I'll shut up and go. Jaden Rosa asks, "Yo, how's that Daniel's Crush Cup? That Daniel's Crush Cup was amazing, man. I miss those things so much. If I could, I would buy them again and review the hell out of it too." Gamer Biceps asks, "What's your favorite Daniel's Crush Cup?" Okay, so from my memory. When the Daniel's Crush Cups came out, there was only two flavors. One was strawberry and the other was blueberry. So between those two, definitely the strawberry. I think that that's, I'm pretty sure that's the one I reviewed. That's bad that I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure I reviewed the strawberry one. And it was good. They're definitely good. Chihuahua TV, very, very interesting name, asked in capitals, will you do a WWE collection video and do you like AEW? WWE collection, 
of a said, don't really have that many figures, and do I like AEW? I definitely like AEW. I love what we're doing there, and I also just want to say, not that, that it really means that much coming from me, but rest in peace to Brody Lee. Quick thing about him, I used to love going to 2CW shows, which is just like an independent wrestling program. Um, I did a couple videos, actually, after I went to a couple of 2CW shows. One time I got to go to the front front row, I met Terry Funk, they gave me barbed wire, and they treated me like a freaking prince there, but that was awesome. Um, at 2CW, Brody Lee, he he's actually like pretty local, like he grew up a couple hours away from me, and he was he like made a name for himself in um, 2CW, so that was definitely really sad to see him go, and um, I feel really bad for the family, and just all of AEW for that matter. Power Spin 2 asks, are there any sports that you want to get into? Probably the one that I would want to get into the most is boxing because it's not really like professional wrestling, but I just like that kind of fighting aspect. And every time I watch boxing, I'm like, holy crap, that was awesome. And I just would need to learn more about the sport. I know it's quite simple, and I usually do watch the big fights, but definitely I would love to get into boxing. Second question, were there any WWE figures you wish you got back in the day? Probably the one that I wish I got that I never got was, it's kind of a weird one, it was a Booker T Elite with, um, it came with a World Midway Championship and like, I think it did, and then like his cap and then like his crown and the coat and stuff. I look, I wanted that figure so badly and I just never got it. Alright, I saved one of the best for last. This is from my friend Brian. He asked, hey Home Slice, it's Rainwalker. I've got a question for the Q&A. What was it like growing up? Oh, growing up, I honestly had it pretty pretty good. Um, I just lived with my mom and dad, played with my wrestling figures. I didn't, I was not like a traditional kid. Like, I didn't go out and party and stuff. I would just stay home and play video games or play my wrestling figures. I, I stopped playing with them when I was like 13 or 14, but after that, it was just pretty much the only really big things I would do was go I would play basketball. And I was not, I was not, and I still am not a partner, really, anything like that. Um, the second question is, what's your dog? Okay, here's just, I know this video is long, but here's a 30 second clip of me walking my dog. That wraps up the Q&A. I am tired. That was really fun, though. It's going to be hard to edit this video, kind of. It's going to be like the biggest challenge for me, but I just wanted to share two more comments that I got. The first one is from, I hope I pronounced both of these names correctly, not Tommy Wiseu asked, well, he didn't ask, he just says, it's so weird how so many of us randomly found you in 2010 over figures and are still keeping up. Weird that you're not even like one of those super huge YouTubers, yet we're all, we all still know who you are. Mad love, homie. To not Tommy, or I'm not sure what your weird, real name is, but I love that so much, man. Seriously, for real. Mad love to you too, bro. I appreciate everyone that's still just stuck around because it, it's crazy. Like, I, I just started making videos about wrestling figures and then here we are with almost 8,000 subscribers and I'm getting a crap ton of comments that, and you guys are interested in just about me, the person. So, Tommy, thank you for that. And then the second one is from Bernard Schuster. I hope that is, of course, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I'm just not good to pronounce your name said hey dude this isn't so much of a question but more of a heartfelt comment believe me my my heart has been felt with this um when i was a kid i used to watch the hell out of your videos this was probably around 2011 2012 i'm 17 now it's really cool to see you're still doing stuff on youtube even though it's not entirely wrestling centric anymore if you got a twitter or something it would be awesome to strike up a conversation with you Sounds weird AF, but as weird as it is, I have a crap ton of nostalgia for this channel. Thank you. Bernard. Dude, that's amazing that you have nostalgia for my channel. That, I mean, like, that's why I made the videos, because I didn't, I was just trying to entertain people, and it, like, I did my job, really, like, basically with the videos. As for Twitter, man, I would love to have a conversation with you. My Twitter is autorich underscore 11. The problem with that is I just got suspended for saying something naughty. I know, I'm bad. But um, if I ever get that back, I would love to have a conversation with any of you guys. But Bernard, thank you so much for that comment. 
um, that was that was seriously awesome. I can't believe like my videos are nostalgic for you, but that's all I got, guys. Thank you so much for if you watch this entire video, like you're a freaking Iron Man. I don't even think I'm gonna watch the entire thing, but thank you everyone so much for the questions. This has been a blast, and um, until we meet again, I guess. Thank you. Peace out.